congratulations to this year's Foster G. McGaw Prize finalists, Englewood Health and New York Presbyterian Hospital. Englewood Health excels in listening to and partnering with community groups to increase access to care, such as by opening its Center for Korean Health and Wellness. New York Presbyterian Hospital recognizes that community members can often be the most effective form of support for patients and uses community-based doulas for a postpartum program that checks in on new moms. And now, the winner of this year's Foster G. McGaw Prize, Boston Medical Center. Boston Medical Center is one of America's essential hospitals, serving populations and patients and communities who have been disinvested in for generations. We believe that healthcare goes beyond what our doctors see in a patient visit. We recognize that we have to do more than just provide standard health care. We have to understand what matters most to them. Some of the concerns facing the patients and the communities that we serve are workforce development and access to jobs that lead to better pay and economic mobility, housing, food insecurities. BMC is actively finding ways and putting programs in place to address these things. Nubian Markets began because we asked the community what it was that they wanted, and they said that they wanted access to healthier food in Roxbury. And so Boston Medical Center invested $1.9 million in this grocery store. Nubian Markets, I really think of it as a hub for the community, especially a space like this, to be able to find healthy foods, affordable foods, Black-owned foods. is the difference between us and pretty much any other market. Besides Boston Medical Center being our funders, they're kind of like family at this point where it really drives us to move forward, knowing that we have them back in us. The entry point to the Violence Intervention Advocacy Program for a patient begins in the emergency department. We provide workforce development, education, housing. What we do is pair victims of violence with people that are like mentors to them. We call them advocates. We also have mental health and counseling for them as well. Being a victim of violence can change the way you, you look at humans. It's kind of when, you, when you're in the hospital and you, you're going through these things, you can't see the future or, or what's supposed to be. You can't even see the things that you've done. It's easier to get advice from someone you know been through what you've been through. You know what I'm saying? It, it means a little more. It has a little more impact. It really is a life-altering pathway for people who come in we have something called a Thrive Screener so that we can understand what gaps our patients have that might prevent them from being able to thrive. We have a prescription food pantry in our hospital. Providers can prescribe the food pantry for their patients, particularly people with certain chronic diseases like diabetes and hypertension. I think these proofs of concept have given us a roadmap going forward and certainly has been a positive motivator to continue. Programs like this are important, super important. Those little aspects, they help the healing so much. Boston Medical Center is partnered with Nubian Markets because we just have a similar goal in mind. We both want to bring healthy foods to a black community in Roxbury and helping Boston just be healthier. There is a real need at the moment to rewrite how we think about and deliver and engage people in not just their health care, but their health. I really hope that us getting this award is a catalyst for others to sort of look at what they're doing and thinking about what they can do and how they progress along that journey. Congratulations to this year's Foster G. McGaw Prize winner, Boston Medical Center, and its CEO, Dr. Alistair Bell. BMC has improved the lives of thousands in its community by meeting the challenge of addressing health disparities and setting a higher bar for what can be achieved. And congratulations to this year's finalists, Inglewood Health in New Jersey and New York Presbyterian Hospital. All of these organizations demonstrate a passion for advancing health. Their innovative collaborations have improved the health and well-being of the patients and communities they serve, providing a bright light for our field and our nation. The AHA greatly appreciates the Baxter International Foundation for their generous support of the Foster G. McGaw Prize. Together, 
We are working to advance health in America.